Hi friends, I'm Chris McLean, lead pastor at Shady Grove United Methodist Church Short Pump. And this is my friend Padme. She's joining us this Friday because Padme has had a no good, very bad day. She went to the doggy dentist. She had some teeth pulled and that was very painful and she just got her pain medicine. You can tell that she looks just, she looks a little sleepy, a little more at peace than she was before. Uh, but you might also be having a no good, very bad day, or you might know somebody who is. You've probably heard mentions about concerns around mental health, particularly following coronavirus and people being in quarantine. And you might wonder, why is that the case? Uh, and part of this has to do with the issue of cumulative stress. I like to say that stress is like laundry. It has a way of building up. Uh, so one day's laundry, the next, the next, the next, and you can think coronavirus is a layer of laundry, work is a layer of laundry, uh, things with kids or parents or neighbors, that's all laundry. Oh, sleepy Padme. Uh, and so stress builds up and it has an effect on all of us. And so I just want to touch base with you about self-care. I'm going to be listing some resources to get care when you or your friends needed at the end of this. Uh, but I do want to just point out to you some things that are very practical from a worksheet called Everything is Awful and I'm Not Okay. Questions to ask before giving up. And here are some of them. The first question is, are you hydrated? If not, and you're having a no good, very bad day, drink a glass of water. Second, have you eaten in the past three hours? It's amazing how much difference that makes. So eat something with protein, not just simple carbs. Have you showered in the past day? If not, take a shower right now. And for some of you, just those things will have you feeling so much better. But maybe you need to go deeper. Have you stretched your legs in the past day? Have you said something nice to someone in the past day? Have you moved your body to music in the past day? Have you cuddled a living being like this gal in the past two days? Have you seen a therapist in the past few days? Have you changed any of your medications in the past couple of weeks, including skip doses or a change in uh, brands? Maybe you've moved to a generic. If it's daytime, are you dressed? If it's nighttime, are you sleepy and fatigued but avoiding going to sleep? If you are, then put on pajamas, make yourself cozy in bed with a teddy bear and the sound of falling rain and close your eyes for 15 minutes. No electronic screens allowed. If you're still awake after that, you can get up again. No pressure. I heard a trick once for going to sleep and it's just, it's a strange trick, but I found that it works. Uh, just feeling the sensation here around your nose as you're breathing for those 15 minutes, feeling the air come in and out of your nose and something about having to concentrate on that physical sensation seems to short circuit um, when our brains are just turning the same ideas over and over. Couple more questions. Do you feel ineffective? If so, pause right now and get something small completed, whether it's responding to an email or loading the dishwasher or just packing a gem bag for your next trip. Good job. Do you feel unattractive? Then take a selfie and let your friends remind you how great you look. Do you feel paralyzed by indecision? Then give yourself 10 minutes to sit back and figure out a game plan for the day. And my game plan is to wrap this up and get in from the rain. Have you overexerted yourself lately? That toll can linger. Give yourself a break. And have you waited a week? If your perception of life is affected by stress, things might be getting skewed in your point of view. So give it a week and see if you can get a renewed perspective. Friends, these are some quick tips on how to deal with it when it seems like everything's awful, you're having a no good, very bad day. Uh, there are some deeper needs as well. Some of you have friends in crisis. Some of you all may be in crisis. At the end of this video, I'm going to make a list of resources for you. Reach out. It's important. Take good care of you. And remember to always pray, Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And you will find God is with you.